Good evening, everyone. This is me, Adnan Gauri, the founder and director of iWork Station. I welcome you all to the iWork Station BIM series week six by Mohammad Shoaib. So Mohammad Shoaib is from Pakistan. He is a civil engineer, researcher, trainer, and he is working as a sustainability and project management consultant. He holds a master's degree in construction engineering and management. He is also currently pursuing his local pathway fellowship with United Nations Sustainability Development Solution Network. Further, he is also a part of research team at Sustainable Real Estate and Economics Lab, Hong Kong, and he has published his research in international journal. So, I would like to welcome Ahmad Shoaib. I am Ahmad. Thank you for the nice introduction oh, to all the participants. It's hello from Pakistan and good evening. I hope you had a nice Sunday and now it's time for some uh, BIM introduction everything. So quite of a study time on Sunday. So bear with me and uh, I will start my presentation. So uh, first of all to all the participants is there any question that you have prior to this presentation because we will have a, another Q&A at the end of this presentation but just five to ten minutes if there is any question already over here so then I, I can answer the people can unmute and yes if, if anyone have any questions yeah. related to this presentation I'll unmute them and they can uh, discuss with you. Uh, any questions, yes. any random thoughts, just tell me just if you have any question, anything or uh, I mean if you have anything like in your mind. Okay, so no questions from now, Mr. V. Day. We can start with the presentation, Shoaib. Uh, in the meantime, the okay. participants can ask the question. Okay, so I will start with the presentation. My presentation is regarding the life cycle analysis and the applications of VAR in the construction. Just before to start the life cycle component of the life component and the BIM integration is that that right now the BIM is kind of a, like a technical solution to everybody and providing like the productivity aspects, the collaboration and everything. But there is some dimension named as sustainability and when you move to the sustainability life cycle is like the core of everything. I mean no matter how much sustainable in terms of design and everything you want to go ultimately it will be the material and the life cycle of those material will be very important and there are some certifications at the a international level, local level and at the product level as well even the organizations are going to prefer uh, the pre-selected or pre-certified material that only this directory can be used uh, for our uh, uh, projects. So just a little bit of introduction of the life cycle. It's the consecutive and interconnected stages of a product or service system from the extraction of natural resources to the final disposal. Uh, in the life cycle, there are there is a uh, there is a standard I have mentioned at the bottom of this slide. That's IS 14040, the life cycle assessment guideline made by the International System Organization, International Organization of Standardization, in fact, and they have developed quite a comprehensive uh, system for the life cycle and and all the nuances of this system. And uh, whenever you are doing uh, any kind of a project or a research in a at academic level, uh, you need to need to know the uh, uh, standard uh, by all means because uh, without this you cannot move further. And these are just this is just a frame life cycle analysis. And the framework is quite simple. We are familiar with the raw material processing and everything. This is quite similar to the like chemistry or something like that, but it is very much related to the civil engineering. Just follow the steps I will explain and you will know that how it is important to you as well, even you are a designer or something. I mean, then if you are a good BIM operator, but the philosophy and the, the theory behind this is 
very essential to know that so the goal the first step is goal and definition and scope before you start any sustainability project you will go through the uh, define because you will go and define your scope and the boundaries and because the boundaries are very important and there are four kind of boundaries like cradle to cradle cradle to grave grave to grave and cradle to gate so i will explain those as well life cycle inventory is the most comprehensive tds and the essential part of this thing uh, everything you develop in the bim is your inventory either it's some window or some uh, door or anything like that so it will always be the inventory inventory is obviously integrated with the bim because prior to that when there was no bim people were getting information from loads of resources and there was no proper central integrated system to help those and even the sustainability and life cycle aspects of the construction were not well aware or not in the industry so and the next and final step is the impact assessment for the impact assessment there are different tools so whatever you are uh, defining and in, in your scope system boundaries that is your theoretical aspect the bim integration starts with the inventory analysis and the impact analysis inventory analysis means that whatever is your raw data and the input that is the inventory and the output and or the analysis is the impact analysis which you will do by the data of bim so product studies mean the construction phase you will quantity take off from the database and that data is in the bim use phase mean over the use of uh, building you will have to uh, share some energy models with the certifiers and with the lead and with the other institutes those are into the green buildings and the use phase models uh, data will be from the energy modeling software it can be hap it can be equest uh, and the uh, end of life cycle waste scenario is again and there are some models in the uh, softwares that are being developed for the impact assessment and uh, uh, you can develop your own waste scenario because everything is editable and can be edited and explained in the separate files uh, i will explain that later by the practical demo so this is you know the bim and everything and the level of details and the other stuff so this is the building level 1 the building elements the building sub elements and those items and uh, ultimately it will come down to the building material and it's quite interesting uh, uh, let's start from there okay so uh, there are three standard and uh, acceptable softwares available uh, 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 in the market that can be done for the life cycle analysis sima pro and gabies are just like the same um, just like uh, the google sheets and the uh, microsoft office uh, word document uh, or the google doc uh, or pretty much like the same handling and dealing and editing so similarly sima pro and gabies are the most widely used and they are the most comprehensive i mean the sima pro clients include everything from general motors to bmw and the volkswagen and up to the i mean even in the military they use this for the life cycle impacts and even in the fashion industry everything even the fashion products uh, like the lipstick and everything they are again the material so the material life cycle is again uh, with the sima pro similarly we all wear the dresses and in, even in the agricultural and the textile industry it is being used so construction is no exception the tally is uh, tailored made specific to the construction and it is the plug in in the beam you don't have to export data into some other software you just go uh, in another tab like you go for the energy analysis in the beam uh, by the way revit energy analysis is not a standard and will not be accepted by the lead or any other institute if you 
RPG modeling or for the energy numbers in the lead certification. So you have to go with the eQuest as a app or some another. There are many. I mean, you can name it. Energy modeling is uh, is the basic thing in everything. So you might know about that. So starting with the tally, it's just a plugin in the BIM. It will take data, extract data on your own, uh, on its own. You will just have to check the data, and if there is something missing, you can define, you can edit. It's like complete solution for, I mean, everything. So I will explain. SEMA Pro is quite extensive, and I mean, loads of intent. Quite lethargic, but the most authentic. Uh, even as compared to the tally, SEMA uh, uh, Pro is the most authentic one among all. So this is just a screenshot of that thing, uh, and uh, you can see that the top uh, left corner is the rivet model, and that has selected just the basic wall, and that wall is being highlighted as blue in the uh, in the concern model, and you can see that the tally has picked up that model and stated that the masonry break normal running bond and that tally pulls material quantities from the revealed model on its own you just have to tell the command or give it to the data uh, you can uh, tally has its own database because uh, life cycle is all about databases from the bim and everything and bim is just providing the platform uh, otherwise uh, bim has no role in life cycle analysis but look at the look at the uh, effort that bim has saved for the life cycle analysis now it's just a matter of few minutes to done this revert life cycle modeling and then you will do the results like of this as you can see on the right hand uh, side of the slide at the tally generates the reports the reports are being and generated and uh, accepted by the lead as well and uh, kt innovations are the uh, are the maker of this uh, uh, i mean of this software okay so uh, i will show you the, some videos uh, how this all play please bear with me and just have a look at this video Adnan uh, uh, everybody seeing the video uh, I'm not able to see the video actually can you can you watch it on my screen I mean no we, we cannot see the video uh, okay you cannot see the video okay okay I will share it there is just a bit Give me that time. So what I'll do now, I'll I'll just uh, stop your sharing screen and you can again connect uh, okay. for sharing your video. Okay. Uh, I hope you can now uh, watch the video. Now, now, you? now you can share the video. Yeah. Okay, so everybody is can. Yes, we can see. Uh, uh, you can't hear anything, then they. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, uh, to all the participants, there is no issue that if you are unable to listen to the voice, these videos are available freely on the internet. Uh, you can just watch it uh, from now, just to understand that how it works, and uh, I will give you a bit, a little bit of the commentary of mine that if there is anything to explain over here. So right. there are just two, three videos, just little four to five minutes, and uh, you can go with that. Okay, so this is just telling that how you can edit and go through and apply the materials and take off by spacing or by the length method. And I hope you know the different quantities take off method. You can use the unit and definition and apply, and all material properties will be in. You can just uh, select the life cycles in the side division and while the categorization scheme there that there are different methods of uh, life cycle analysis and the recipe midpoint method that is uh, 
the penalty made from the bottom uh, is the actual method that we widely use because it's the most comprehensive. Otherwise, if there is some special demand, you can click software will know that you are going to run with that attendance scheme. So that's all about just pick and click and then done. This is the kind of result. I mean, life cycle stage is there. I mean, material wise, there is there are legends, there are results, and the river categories. So now the second video. Uh, uh, I hope you can watch the second video. Yes, now it will start from the uh, from the start. Okay. The full building assessment has been selected, but we want to have a full build assessment and we are selecting all the categories uh, uh, why these categories are have option to select because sometime during the research or sometime uh, during justifying to the certification authority you need to justify particular part of the building that the floors material or the roofing or the curtain walls or the panels are uh, sustainable in their own individual capacity or the they are not being responsibility, responsibly sourced. So uh, you just go on that particular option, select and report, generate the report and justify your. So in full impact assessment, you will select just all the categories and the relevant scheme will change all the way. So full scheme has been selected and then the workflow and the existing uh, oh, one more thing that you can distinguish between the new and existing construction and you can define that in the BIM so you know that uh, how much we achieved from the previous uh, uh, renovation scheme or this structure because sometimes there are no new structures there are just renovation and extensions and you explain that and justify that even in the certification of it, they ask you to select that either it's a new construction project or it's a renovation project because different threshold goes for the lead and uh, the standard. So, that is selecting everything. Everybody, you can see that uh, they are selecting the revert files, worksheet, workflows, everything phase demolished. They are considering the waste scenario as well at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so now the revert is uh, loading all the families and all the material data. And I'm depends on your computer speed, but it uh, it uh, in actual uh, it doesn't take much time. It's the light plugin for the. Although it's a paid one, but uh, it's a live one. So now there are different colors. So green means that all data is being pulled. Telling that something is not tried and something is missing. They will that will tell you to pick and choose and edit everything. So the gray defines. I mean, the gray has the different definition that uh, okay I have some missing data uh, ultimately green means that all data is set and good you will define your whole analysis and the whole definition of life cycle will go null and white so scope is as important as anything even conducting the life cycle analysis itself because there are different scopes defined in the ISO 14040 you can read that it's a just little 10 to 20 document. design option comparison you can do that because uh, being in our design you have to decide that what is right and what is wrong and what is the most sustainable even from the sustainable options as well so my internet connection is unstable but it's right okay so you can select that Define and check that 
there's something missing and you can go with that and define the template file you can define your own material as well i will just quickly uh, uh, coming to the third slide okay now the full building assessment uh, all the material is selected all the categories review file is selected now you want to apply that so everything is being loaded up again 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 loading loading okay so now you uh, so here is the legend that explain that the gray means the undefined term the partially defined and the fully defined mean the data is completely being exported tally as well so the invalid definition mean that the system or the boundaries the system or the plugin doesn't def uh, doesn't know which element it is or which material it is so you will go define and edit and everything and uh, there is everything i mean you can change the u value the r value and material properties quantities data sometimes you have a regional boundaries as well because the distance uh, distances and the geographical location uh, can highly sway the results of analysis and tally is a uh, tally, tally has only the data from the usa uh, but i have seen that there was a project in uae that has conducted the tally analysis and was accepted by the lead uh, because they provide all the justification of why and how did they uh, benchmark the values and that was all done in define the scope so your scope is your validity a analysis is just the calculation i will just uh, you can change the thickness uh, over here because uh, we are going to change this and see the results so edit definition you can edit there is a database of everything basic material you can define a whole new material take off method again you will select the thing will be done by the um, plugin so it's just kind of a magic box you go you put and you get the results everything in the background especially the calculation the life cycle calculation was way too complex way too complex if you open and go to the sima pro where you have to put everything manually you will know in a minute that there is no joke about life cycle analysis and uh, to all the students who are going and new into the spin business if you really want to make a career in this thing sustainability and everything this can be your starting point it covers everything in terms of uh, beam handling in terms of defining designing it covers everything so it's a good start you can earn from it providing the consultancy and everything so it's quite good but you have to have familiar with the analysis because no one will be asking the question about the analysis everyone will be looking at the scope while uh, going through a report and evaluation so uh, you must know the definition and everything okay. okay i will start i will stop here okay i will start there is a zone going on so okay no worries i will start uh dummy materials and uh, dummy materials are the materials that uh, the plugin doesn't know so he is asking for you to define it so ebhub.rvt means the file system that everything is uh, taken from rvt files even if you have rvt files of some different project and some different uh, model so you can just start from that and that will the last video about this thing Uh, uh everything is defined you know or materials are defined and you can see that uh, every green now and uh, if you go on to the plus sign and check if the the relevant files are also green so when there's a full green it means you go ahead and you just click on the say report and that will ask you for the name date or the the company the project and uh, the building grows here so that uh, 
the person looking and doing for your evaluation of your project will get to know the salient for and then you go the bull of the assessment why what is the goal because sometimes there are concerns related to water sometimes there are concerns related to the land use so you have to say that what are the goals so the people know that okay we need to look for this particular event and category and that demands the improvement so you will see that everything ported and you can just save the moment you hit this save but your report will be generated and the pdf format it will take a bit to generate report but it will be very visually pleasing and authentic uh, report you can have that in your adobe and that will define the summary it will be a proper report like any professional can develop but here it is being just click away you are not actually writing anything you are not doing anything so you can see that there are different parameters in terms of environmental impact assessment that how much is this contributing to the global warming smoke formation and the bandwidth of this color scheme will define that uh, your concrete and your this material is contributing um, more weight in that so ultimately uh, you go and that material so you are ha having a very targeted approach here so you don't go through the uh, all the process and define that this much and go and check the software is telling its, uh, itself that you have this much issue in this area and you can uh, go over there and change the material or look at that and that is causing the problem um, here the red color is uh, for the masonry green for the materials woods thermal uh, like I will share the links of the videos you can watch it by on your own because here you won't be able to read something and sure. the text and fonts he is just explaining yes uh, Shweb, can we also work in a cloud mm -hmm. environment with, uh, with, the, with this project? On a cloud? Yeah. Yes, you can work on a cloud as well. Yes, but you have to ask the institute, the tally, the developers of this application, because if you allow you, you can have your own, uh, they, they have their own cloud service as well, as far I know, or they will provide you the complete license of that and you can work from anywhere and even you can get the data from other people's people can share their file you can run that file in your own system everything is good to go with that so we have an educational version this is not a very popular application for now because it's just limited to the us okay yes educational version is also available but that of some limited value i mean the database will be shortened i mean they are earning from it so there must be some shortcoming in the educational versions. Okay. You, you so can everything, the so they have just explained. Hello? Yes, Shoheb. I'm asking like if you can share any links to from where we can download the Stally and the other software tools that you have mentioned. Yes, yes, I will share and just uh, let me pass through that. I will share everything with you. I mean, no issue. Okay. So this is just, there is some, you know, everything. So this is just as far as this is concerned. So I will move back to the presentation of mine. Uh, uh, I will go with the presentation of mine again to the VR. I will just click and... Uh, okay the vrar application um, uh, my uh, i mean my presentation won't be sound like i am into the bim but uh, the right. side applications so virtual reality and yeah, sure virtual yeah. reality sorry to interrupt yes can we take, take the session with a minor break yes yeah can we continue this session what are you saying break? then we also take the question and answers from the participants so we have a break for five minutes right now yeah. yeah that's what i'm saying okay i will okay i will speak again after five minutes you can oh, have the break so you can take a five minutes of break and then you all can connect with the same link okay i will stop uh, here uh, yeah.
So we are expecting questions from the participants. So you all can have uh, have your questions ready by that time, and you can ask directly to Shoaib. Okay. Yes, of course. You can ask your question now. Hello, Sunil. Please unmute. Yeah, we can ask. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, yes. Hello. Uh, hello, sir. This is. Yeah, this Sunil, sir. Like, uh, okay, how far okay. the inventory data will be? How far the inventory data will be useful for a particular kind of uh, structures? Uh, inventory data is basically the input. Uh, as uh, there is uh, built a wall like you draw a wall in bim or revit so that wall is basically in so everything that you draw in the bim and define is the inventory data and if the inventory data is not suitable or is not good you don't provide the proper information for the inventory data there will be no results That's why there are sima pro gabies and uh, tally because they are providing you the database kind of a solution so their data is basically their and their core success factor so data is everything and that is basically the inventory like uh, i have shown you that uh, uh, you have model in the bim and that bim model is uh, the material data is being extracted from that model so data is everything Okay. okay. Uh, how far this? Uh, hello. Oh yes. Yes. Hello, go ahead. Yes. Yes. Go uh, ahead. Actually, I was doing my I was doing my PhD in life cycle assessment actually by using uh, MCDA methods means multi criteria yes, decision making right. methods. Right. So I in order to create my inventories and all, I have uh, gone through my like uh, some kind of research papers and finding out the yes, factors. Yes. different factors for the inventories and all is it true we can go like that but uh, how far uh, inventory is uh, how to assess that inventory data is right or wrong uh, inventory when you go uh, because uh, there is no independent inventory available right now so, okay so when i is doing research she will consult definitely for a, a database and there is an eco invent database you can uh, search for that and i will write for here eco invent database eco invent okay. database is, is the most comprehensive one and whenever you are going for a research you must have to provide the reference of which database you are using and if data if database is already approved and internationally recognized there is no question it's pre defined and pre okay yeah. we can use that database in an indian conditions yes, also yes of course sima pro has specifically some indian data as well so there is no issue about the indian data okay yeah. like uh, i have seen something like gabby is also having yes, a gabby. good kind of yes yes athenis athenis is also one database which they are so many people yes. are using yes. estimator impact yes, estimator of course okay okay yes okay uh, sir thing is basically the decision making system that is the comprehensive one because life cycle okay. assessment is just the one dimension and there are other dimensions so there must multi criteria decision making in which life cycle is the core of that decision making bigger chunk of that will be from the life cycle analysis okay i have so many questions definitely i will be in touch with you personally and all. i will i'll take a contact from you actually because you are doing some research on this life cycle yes, assessment yes, because in india database is not available much sir so i think most of them they will not do much research on this uh, life cycle mostly they'll be going for an hybrid yes, analysis sir, yes. because the inavailability of data yes. and all in india yes of course of course some issues that is uh, yeah sir for every material if you take us and all they'll be providing something like this is a carbon emissions this is a global warming effect of a particular material yes. but indian sir uh, that yes. is not available because of that they cannot model the particular uh, kind of uh, structure yes you're right and i will touch you uh, i will give you the contact of some people we'll sort out like in just a second yeah 
So, something like a speaker from the life cycle assessment background so that's why i want to very was interested to uh, oh, do this much. kind of like, uh, like ask to help to anybody uh, i am open to and i am available every time no no issues thank you so much no sir uh, thank you this is a good platform for people yeah. like us like, i today i have learned something like what is tally like how will it, it will uh, show the impacts of a particular kind of uh, oh, yes, material sir thank you Thank, thank you. you sir thank you thank you so much uh, i will go augmented reality and the sure. actual reality uh, now the uh, i will go with the actual reality at the virtual reality and the integration of that with the bim now the virtual reality and actual reality was used for the gamings and mostly the sophisticated operation like the uh, some military installation or for the drilling of the oil and everything and they used to train their people uh, are like uh, the pilots are being trained on the uh, plane simulator so actually this industry is booming and even the ar vr research is uh, has the most prospects if anybody is interested i am open to that as well but now coming to this uh, this presentation the augmented reality creates <coughs> environment where computer generated information is superimposed onto the user view of real world scene because you can interact in a virtual world and know that the that how it works i have a short video and that video will explain the all dimensions of everything so rather than me explaining let me show you the things that they have elaborated in much better way than mine because they have much platforms and everything okay and moving to the next slide uh, AR, VR, and MR uh, represent both a disruption and opportunity for people who are used thinking. It's just beyond the 2D information. I will just explain rather than uh, reading the slides. Okay, so uh, actual actual reality applications are uh, like you can train your uh, uh, safety staff, you can train your people, you can train your Uh, you can train your crane person to person and i will give you an example very interesting is example there was a building in the new york and there was a crane there and they were they trying to mount the uh, window cleaning uh, assembly over the highest uh, building of the new york was that and it was a very big issue and the train operator got training for four weeks in a simulated environment so how to handle the winds and everything and they just seemed to just save time and money and everything especially the people live uh, uh, okay uh, applications of vr in general entertainment healthcare aerospace automotive manufacturing everything okay uh, mostly the vr and uh, applications are used in the pre fabrication because uh, you are using modeling and somewhere is uh, sitting in the belgium and the order is being placed in the china and so they will virtually visit the model and uh, know the impressions and can uh, order the change orders and even the project manager is having some holidays on a resort in goa and uh, in the metro they were having an extent of the london under under on metro and before this and then they put everything in the virtual reality and everything so it can you just start your screen okay. sharing this again this is how you can hello yeah so it can you just hello? start your screen sharing again okay i'll yeah. start sharing my screen again no worries uh can you yeah we can see your screen now yeah so everybody is looking yes it's fine hello okay so this particular slide is showing that uh, uh, how can uh, an application Uh, a model, iPad, and any other device. Still, that there are tailor-made devices as well. You can check the progress and see if there is some missing insulation, some missing MEP piping, or everything. 
so this is just the environment for the serving and for looking at uh, a political personality in pakistan use this holographic uh, techniques to to uh, in his own uh, really or uh, address to the people uh, i am not sure that there was a day in india where the uh, prime minister modi he was going to address the people in public and they might also use this holographic technique i am not sure but there was something on the news i read about that yeah you so, are absolutely right there uh, it's for the architects and the, and the stakeholder the hologram okay so they actually use it yes exactly yes of course okay again moving on uh, even in the city planning phase uh, this slide is from the uh, um of some singaporean state uh, uh, because they were trying to address their housing states and before that everything they have developed everything in the gaming style in the ar and vr and they run uh, air analysis because they were thinking that if we build a face and because when you go to the corporate offices they are very particular about their finishes and checking the colors and you know uh, some big guns or some corporate people so that can also be used so again this is just the discussion collaborative people are doing sitting in their office but they are actually on the field so you are sitting in india and you can the construction site in united states or in china or in pakistan everywhere so this is just the framework of that uh, data is being generated so you can run the data analytics over there so if some computer science or data analysis uh, student is over here so that can understand that everybody we are getting the data we are using we are consuming we are using the lights using the computer so every thing of our behavior is the data science you can see a drone over there that save all the building details in laser scanning and after 10 15 20 or 50 years even if there is some mishap uh, the building is demolished and is gone all the data is gone the laser scan model and that integration with the bim will have all the data and you don't have to pay again to the architects and everything for the effort so data is there you just go little bit editing and re begin so connected bim cloud and there is a whole new thing for data i will won't go into the detail detail because uh, data analytics and the building construction has whole new scenarios of research quite an interesting area if some programmer in some data analyst is this. so i will just end my presentation and will show you some video and that video is uh, I, i would like that you pay attention to the every detail of that video just let me play that okay. Okay. So everybody can see the video now. If you can't hear it, just see what is being shown. You will know. it is all about safety productivity clash detection removing the hurdles and uh, really knowing good everything good? before hand you hello yeah is, is the video playing because we cannot see okay the video is actually playing i will again share the screen a uh, screen the yeah. video is playing and let me okay uh, here you have the video stuff
Okay, so can you can watch it now? Now we can see the Okay, it's just a two-minute video, very informative. Everything is quite self-explanatory, so I won't disturb you. I'll just pay attention to the video. This whole digital thing will uh, remove the long bureaucratic issues and you know the delays and everything, even the transparency will be unmatched. So, technology is the solution, but quite expensive technology. So, this is the end of it of my lecture and everything. So, yeah, we if can. There is any question? You can ask me. I will share everything with you, Adnan, uh, in a quite a bit. But if there is some question, let me answer the question, and I will send you a comprehensive email defining everything, and you can share with the audience in the WhatsApp group and everywhere. So, just jump to the questions for now. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so, so any questions from the audience? You can raise your hands, I will unmute you. Just unmute yourself and ask questions. Uh, don't uh, bother to write, just ask. Even you can speak Hindi as well, I will answer you, no worries. Yes, Kunal. I think there is no question. Yes, okay. Yes, Kunal, we can hear you. Do you have any question? Uh, I was having one Kunal, please question. speak louder. I can. You have a very faint voice coming to me as well. So. Uh, sir, what kind of plugins are available? Oh, that's a very, very tricky question. Uh, yes, professional. Yeah, Vima also has a question. Yes, Vima, you can ask. I have unmuted you. Actually, when construction was going on, we can use the AR, AR technology. Yes, but after like uh, if we have buildings existed buildings of uh, we don't know how much uh, exactly build it or in there uh, how, how are the buildings live you have to start from the uh, start from the Hotel in Mumbai was being built, or the Taj Mahal was being built, or uh, uh, the tombs of Sultan.
uh, you know the green uh, the uh, the great wall of china uh, uh, due to the majority in the influx of tourist that wall is weakened from some areas so they use drones to map all the sections and everything and then they are going to rebuild but with that laser scanning no one was able to predict the actual life of that uh, wall great wall i can relate with the real example of this uh, i i hope that i answer your question i'm not sure if you're satisfied okay, okay. So yeah if, if then this is if there is any still anything yeah uh, you can have a discussion over here no worries that it's question and yeah. i answer and then there is no 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 you can share right. you can have a debate a series of question as well no issues we have 6 minute remaining in presentation hello. so no worries uh, hello yes please be loud i mean anyone who is speaking please state hello. your name and okay i am kunal sir i am asking there is a present structure right now yes and can we use in that ar or vr yes yes suppose uh, i have one case uh, there is a one building and okay. it, uh, it it has been built from la last 15 years okay means it has been completed and its life age must be around 15 to 22 years okay so sir its column has i mean uh, showing cracks okay column. okay it's not a plaster cracks it's the uh, main structure concrete Right. Okay. Super. Okay. What are you saying after the? Uh, I can hear you. That uh, you are saying that it is showing cracks. After that, I was not able to hear you. Hello. 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 Yes, I have heard you about that. Uh, it is showing cracks. Uh, what is the, your question after that? I am going to ask about that. by using ar o vr uh, can we determine the biggest portion of building or the biggest column so that we can we can give the proper uh, what can uh, treatment to that yes you can use the, the laser scanning to know the weakest areas and with some sensors that will provide you that uh, the, these are the hot spots of that because where the structure is weak uh, they will share with you the red areas so the strength and the uh, distribution of the forces will show the red areas like if you are a structural engineer you must have run the models in tecla and the sap and the etaps so same like that the laser scanning will provide you the results and uh, you can have that Uh, and uh, furthermore if there is a building that was being uh, uh, like uh, i will give you the example of uh, the taj hotel in mumbai so if the taj uh, hotel mumbai uh, administration wants to build the whole model into the ar vr they will run the 3d scanning of their hotel and then they will build the module of that 3d scanning into the ar vr and then for the rest of life they will have everything in their database for the taj hotel and they can analyze any time from that resource but if they haven't done any 3d scanning or anything right now so obviously they don't have that so it's all about so where to obtain the data data will be obtained either from the rivet models or from the models in unity 3d or from the 3d laser scanning there are three methods you can obtain your uh, data or export your data into the ar vr applications ियलिंग and have a good day uh, i sure. hope we'll see you again and everything is in your questions uh, i am in the whatsapp group you can have my number my email and i will uh, be in touch with everybody okay so signing off from pakistan have a good day everybody
Take care. Have a good day. Thank you, Shweb. Bye bye. Thank you, Adnan.